friends, it's Miss Elise. I have come to our classroom today because I've been missing you so much and I thought you really might be missing seeing you in your old classroom. So I brought my daughter Piper along with me and she is going to be our camera person and I thought I'd let you look around the room a little bit and then we're going to do a story together and even an activity to go with it that you can do at your own house. Does everything look like you remember? Nobody's been here, so everything is just like we left it. Okay, friends, I'm here with our book. I'm in my seat where we always read stories, and I'm going to pretend you're all in your spots on the carpet, okay? And we're going to be really silly because I know you're at home and I'm here, but I'm going to pretend like I can hear all of you telling me what your smart brains are thinking while we're reading this book and I'm asking questions, okay? So first, what do we always talk about at the beginning of a story? We talk about this part of the book is what? It's the front cover, that's right. And what about this part? What is this part called? That's right, the back cover. I knew you all wouldn't forget. What about this part? That's right, it's called the spine. Well, the title of our book is Rosie's Walk. And the author and the illustrator is Pat Hutchins. So what does the author do? That's right, the author writes the words and the illustrator that's right, the illustrator draws or paints the pictures. So let's see what happens on Rosie's walk. Oh, first, what do we see on our first page? What do you see? Yeah, I see, I see a chicken. Oh, somebody said a hen. Yes, a hen is what we call a girl chicken. What else do we see? Yes, there's a fox. What do you think that fox is thinking about? Well, let's see what happens. Rosie the hen went for a walk across the yard. There she goes. What is that fox doing? What do you think is gonna happen to the fox? He landed right on that rake. You were right. He landed on the rake. And what did it do? It bumped him on the nose, didn't it? But Rosie just kept on going. Rosie went around the pond. What else do you see on this page? Where are the, what are these? They're frogs. What are they doing? Are they sitting on the rocks? What is our silly fox doing now? I think he's being sneaky. Let's see what happens to him. <gasps> the fox, where did he land? In the pond. Where did the frogs go? They went up. And Rosie just keeps going around the pond. <gasps> Rosie went over the haystack. What do you think is gonna happen to the fox now? <gasps> oh, he went through the haystack. But Rosie just kept on going. She went past the mill. Does anybody know what a mill is? Here's the mill. There's a bag of flour. It's where the farmers can turn the wheat into flour that we can use to cook and make yummy things with. So there goes Rosie. What do you see? What do you think is going to happen? Is the fox still being sneaky? Oh, somebody saw that. I didn't know if you would see it. Somebody saw that piece of string. 
around Rosie's foot. Hmm, what do you think might happen? Let's see. Oh, I think somebody guessed it. You're right. The flower, it fell and it all went on the box. But Rosie just kept on going. Oh, Rosie went through the fence. Oh my goodness, what is the fox doing now? Where is he going? What is this? Do you know what this is? Some of you might have a small one at your house that you could ride in. This one looks bigger. Yes, it's a wagon. Oh, I wonder if anybody knows what these are. I think some of you have these at your house. Where did that fox land? He landed on the wagon. But Rosie just kept on going. Now, can you tell what they were? That's right, they're beehives. And look at the bees. Rosie went under the beehives. What does the fox look like now? He bumped into the beehives and oh my goodness look at all the bees they're chasing the fox and look at Rosie she's not worried one bit is she she went and got back in time for dinner and she went right back into her chicken coop does anybody know what a chicken coop is that's where the hens give. It's their house. That's where Mr. Fox was hiding at the beginning of our book. So now we're going to do an activity that I'll do one version of it here and then you can do it yourself at your house with some of the things around your house or your yard.